Star Wars is a large world, or worlds rather. All of the places and events that happen make it feel as large as they say, and beyond that, we have quite a few different eras to choose from, from the Clone Wars, to the Galactic Civil War, to the Rise of the First Order. The players may change, but the board remains the same. In honor of a series that's so beloved by all, we want to cover the events within the canon series, so get into your most meditative stance, my young Padawans, let's dive into the history of Star Wars. But one quick explanation before we do though, for those who don't yet know, the Star Wars universe uses its own type of calendar. Don't worry, the amount of days remain the same, but they do count years a little differently. While on our calendars we tend to count years using BCE and AD, Star Wars uses the Battle of Yavin, that is the explosion of the first Death Star in A New Hope as their marker. That being said, the terms they use are BBY, which means before the Battle of Yavin, and ABY, which means after the Battle of Yavin. This quick explanation should help you keep track of the timeline, so let's get into it. Um, I don't, I honestly don't know if this is a complete timeline. There's, there, there's so much Star Wars, so th this is, this is a Star Wars timeline. <laughs> also, I'm gonna mispronounce some stuff. It's Star Wars, so apologies in advance. There's, again, there's a lot. Prehistory. Eons BBY, the universe is formed. During this formation, a certain galaxy far, far away is formed, a supermassive black hole at its center. Stars begin to orbit around this supermassive black hole, creating what we know and love as the Star Wars galaxy. Midichlorians are also created through the wellspring of life to connect the living force generated by all living things to the cosmic force that bound the universe together. These midichlorians would form a symbolic relationship with all living things in an attempt to guide them according to the will of the force. The father, son, and daughter would be born and come to rule over the realm known as Mortis. Ilum would also begin the process of forming crystals that would later come to be used by Jedi to focus the blades of their lightsabers. These crystals would become known as kyber crystals and would eventually also be corrupted by the dark side to form the focusing crystals in their lightsabers as well through the bleeding process. Dagobah is also covered in lava as the formation process which would form Mount Dagger. Non-sentient life would form on the planet of Dagobah thereafter. It would also begin to form on the planets Braveus, Krull, and Abinetto. These species would eventually become the Bravasians, Krolluch, and Abinetto, respectively. 100,000 BBY. The first levels of Coruscant are under construction, slowly turning the planet into a... Ecumenopolis. E e e e e e e e a city encompassing an entire planet or moon. I did not know that word. Ecumenopolis, I think is how it's pronounced. 57,000 BBY. The planet Utapau is settled by colonialists who would later become what we all know as the Utai and the Powans. During this age, there was no hyperspace travel by sentient species, and most spaceflight was achieved by taking the long way. It's during this age that Batu is colonized after thousands of years since the Great Cataclysm, which caused the planet's massive trees to be petrified. It's also during this time that an ancient race, having studied the Pergil, a spacefaring species of animal that can utilize hyperspace travel, develop hyperdrives for their own vessels to allow travel at light speed and beyond. This still predates the nav computer though, so moving through space at these speeds was rather dangerous and accidents that had you traveling into a star through a supernova were common. The practice of dropping beacons was often used to create guideposts between two jump points to allow for safe jumps in straight lines, though flying through a pod of Pergil was still a hazard. 30,000 BBY. The Deveronians became adept scouts who leave their home planet of Deveron and begin exploring the galaxy, developing hyperdrives independently for their own use. During this era, the planet Benetage in the Outer Rim is abandoned. 27,000 BBY. The planet Felucia is colonized by Gossam Cordovers and human civilization has developed on Empress Teta. The Era of the Old Republic. 25,000 BBY. The Galactic Republic is formed by 22 founding core planets. These planets include, but are obviously not limited to, Alderaan, Chandrilla, Corellia, Coruscant, and Duro. The Dai Bendu, a precursor to the Jedi Order, also start their existence and become the first known users of holocrons. In the hopes of preserving peace in the galaxy, a being known only as the Prime Jedi founds what would be known as the Jedi Order on Ahch II. The Prime Jedi would later have a vision and write a prophecy of a Chosen One who would rise and bring balance to the Force. During the same period of time, a Jedi scout would discover the planet Ilum through Force-assisted hyperspace travel. For those of you who want to know what that means, it means he used no nav computer or beacon and just jumped randomly in accordance to what direction the Force led him. This is how they discovered Ilum. The first Jedi temple is built on an island on Ahch II. Thereafter, a village is also formed to hold the Jedi who would live there. 
During the expansionist period, the Corellian run helps to form the Corellia system. The Corellian trade spine and Perlemian trade route are also founded. Jero's explorers find and settle Nemoidia and Cato Nemoidia and would then join the Galactic Republic. The era between 22,000 BBY and 5,000 BBY. An unspecified amount of time before the Galactic Civil War, the Comet Kinro is predicted to pass through the Core Worlds, devastating the Republic. The Jedi Order would band together and will the Comet apart. This, however, costs many Jedi their lives and sanity to execute. 22,000 BBY. Maimoidia joins the Galactic Republic as an independent world. 21,032 BBY. The Blood Monarchy is established on Thispius, the site of many battles during the Great Manifest period. 15,000 BBY. Rhodia officially joins the Galactic Republic. During this same time, the Nemoidian people and the Juros people's physical distinctions become really clear. 12,000 BBY. Settlers from Corellia colonize a planet that becomes an Ordnance regional depot known as Ord Mantel. The Jedi move their cultural center to Osis, which becomes a near-mandatory pilgrimage site for all Jedi. The Ice Moon Mezula is shattered. The first Grand Zagoth of Utapau, Krinbalt Kir, dies. An unspecified amount of time between 12,000 BBY and the Clone Wars. The Temple of the Kyber is formed on the desert planet of Jeddah. Hylomane Lightbringer is born and would later be bludgeoned to death by a chair, disproving the legend that he could not be killed by mortal means. The Jedi Knights defeat the Zygerian Slave Empire. A dark Jedi seeking more power convinces other Jedi to embrace the dark side of the Force, causing a split within the Jedi Order known as the Hundred Year Darkness. These dark Jedi form a rival order known as the Sith, but are defeated and exiled into unknown space, leading to the discovery of the planet Moraban, which would become the home to the Sith. They build temples and tombs for their greatest warriors in a place called the Valley of the Dark Lords. They await the time that they can take their revenge. Using slave labor, they go to war against the Jedi using super weapons powered by kyber crystals. Darth Momin is then born and trained by the Sith Lord Darth Shah. He would go on to kill her and hone his craft as he wanders the galaxy. Momin would later go on to destroy a city with a super weapon, but he and his acolytes are defeated by a pair of Jedi, and the Sith then deem Darth Momin a heretic and suppress any knowledge of him whatsoever. However, Momin's spirit remains, residing within his mask. Before the time of the Galactic Republic, the lushly forested planet Mustafar is inhabited by off-worlder Lady Corvax, who lives in harmony with the native Mustafarians along with her husband. The latter dies as a result of an attack on Mustafar, leading to Corvax's theft of the most sacred Mustafarian relic, the Bright Star, in an attempt to use it in a ritual to resurrect her love. The ritual fails. Instead, the Bright Star's energies pushes Mustafar into a new orbit, reducing the world to an unbalanced chaotic state. A volcanic wasteland is created as tiny Mustafar is torn between gas giants Lafrani and Justified. Thus, Sith seeking the secrets of eternal life are attracted to the world. Radaki during this time leaves the Jedi Order, believing that it's wrong to force people to sever ties to attachments with people and their wealth. Radaki would then proceed to fall to the dark side and be named Darth Krall. Sith victory at Battle of Wasted Years. This would be attributed to Darth Krall, who would also be remembered for taming the Nightmare Conjunction and as one of the Lost Twenty. The Ordu Espectu is formed, led by Ruhr and related to the Masasi. The Jedi Splinter Group comes into contact with Jedi Orthodoxy with their experiments on immortality beginning the Entruvia Conflict. A dating system based on the signing of the Domancian Accord is used around this time. The conflict is ended with a Jedi Ordu Espectu peace treaty. By the treaty's terms, Jedi Inspectors arrive at the Citadel of Ruhr, and believing they intended to deactivate him, an artificial intelligence made of Ruhr's knowledge seizes control of the Citadel's droids and slaughters its inhabitants. Ruhr sacrifices himself to deactivate the machine, hyperspace jumping the Citadel across the galaxy in an event that would become known as the Doom of the Order, or do expect to. The Corsair Wars begin. In the aftermath of the war, Jedi Master Ua breaks Jedi Doctrine and helps develop the Far Killer Sniper Rifle, a weapon that utilizes the same technology as a lightsaber to work. The Carbonite Mines of Empress Teta's system are conquered by the Krath. A sentient species creates a gate that forms a wormhole through space and time that allows them their exodus from the wider galaxy. 9991 BBY the Mandalorian people begin to originate from their homeworld of Mandalore and form a culture centered around war and honor. This is the way, Vodan. 7,977 BBY. The CRC dating system is adopted. 6,000 BBY. The civilization of Bardota begins when the Frangal cult rules over a militant society. 5,500 BBY. A super hyper route is formed and named the Rima Trade Route. Fall of the Old Republic. 5,000 BBY. 
At the end of the Empress Teta Unification Wars, the Great Hyperspace War takes place in which the Sith Empire invades Empress Teta. The Republic wages war against the Sith Empire, and through the help of the Jedi Order, the Sith Lord Nagasato is pushed back and the Sith forces scatter across the galaxy. However, while the inhabitants of Empress Teta take this hyperspace war as fact, the wider galaxy speculates the validity of the claims due to the lack of archaeological proof. The Sith do wage a war during this era, however, against both the Jedi Order and the Republic. During this war, the capital of the Galactic Republic, Coruscant, falls to the Sith Empire. They build a shrine on the surface to exude the dark side. But the Jedi invade and manage to repel the Sith and reclaim the capital. The Jedi Library is formed on the planet Osis as the physical embodiment of Jedi knowledge. The Masasi build the Great Temple on Yavin 4. The era between 5000 BBY and 1000 BBY takes place during the fall of the Great Republic. The Mandalorian Jedi War takes place. During this time, the Mandalorians launched something known as the Mandalorian Crusades. It was during this war that Mandalorians were faced with the strange powers of the Jedi that they didn't understand, and so they began to add more and more gadgets and technology to their armor specifically designed to be able to capture and harm even a Jedi. Due to this, the Mandalorians began winning many battles, and the technology added became a mainstay of their armor. During the Crusades, they invaded the planet Ubduria, where they're heavily offended by what they claim to be cowardly behavior. This leads to them laying waste to the planet. The Jedi manage to push the Mandalorians back, though, and follow them all the way back to Mandalore, where the battle becomes so intense that the planet of Mandalore is reduced to a scorched desert wasteland too inhospitable for life. This causes the Mandalorian people to build domes around their cities in an effort to make their home capable of sustaining them. 4000 BBY Explorers from Grismalt discover Naboo and the native Gungans retreat into their swamps after a long war with the humans. Sometime within this time frame, the Chiss Ascendancy wages war with an unknown enemy which forces them to utilize the Star Flash. The Chiss Ascendancy wins the war, but the result of the Star Flash's usage results in irreparable harm to their son, which forces the Chiss to leave their homeworld of Scylla in 1019 BBY. Furthermore, in 4000 BBY's time frame, the Gungans are united under Boss Gallo and begin building their capital city of Otogunga. At around the same time that the Gungans are unifying, the humans who had come to call themselves the Naboo were splitting into war factions, marking the beginning of the era known as the Time of Suffering. Sometime during 4000 BBY, it's said that the planet of Osis, which served as the homeworld of the Jedi Order at the time, was devastated by the Kron supernova supposedly caused by Naga, Sha Naga Sadow. During this time, four Jedi Masters moved to the planet Coruscant, which had an abundance of Force energy. The issue with this is that there was a Sith shrine there corrupting the flow of the Force. So, what's a Jedi Master to do? They dump concrete on it and build a new Jedi Temple over top of it. This is the formation of the Jedi Order on Coruscant and the Four Masters who would later be venerated as statues protecting the Temple's entrance known as the Four Founders. 3966 BBY By this point, galactic travelers navigate hyperspace using hyperspace sextants. Sith accounts describing the kyber weaponry built by Darth Tannis within the Sith Temple on Malachor are made. This is around the time that the massive battle station is discovered by the Jedi who invade Malachor. In an event known as the Scourge of Malachor, all participants are petrified by the superweapon, leaving it barren with only a single holocron possessing a consciousness known only as the Presence is left behind. All information on the planet is suppressed until Yoda informs Ezra Bridger of its location during the Galactic Civil War, where Darth Maul had recently located it. 3277 BBY The Lothal Calendar is formed. 1050 BBY the Jedi Tare Vizsla forms his legendary weapon, the Darksaber, which would go on to be revered for generations to come as the symbol of Mandalorian strength. 1000 BBY The Galactic Republic falls, beginning an era known as the Dark Age. During this era, the Sith are once more at war with the Republic and the Jedi Order. The Army of Light faces off against the Brotherhood of Darkness, of which Darth Bane is a part. The Army of Light is victorious, though the cost is incredibly high. The Sith, which once had many thousands of members, are reduced to the point that they're believed to finally be extinct. Bane escapes and begins developing the Rule of Two, in which the Sith will later have their revenge through a single master and apprentice. Bane would later be overthrown by his apprentice, Darth Xana. She would bury him in the Valley of the Dark Lords on Moraban, making Bane the last Sith to be buried there. The war between the Jedi and Sith officially reaches its end, though the threat of the Sith is merely thought to be gone. In truth, it's become more dangerous now than ever. During this time frame, the Galactic Republic reforms and the time of the Dark Age and the Old Republic is officially considered over. The official calendars of that time start anew and the Grand Army of the Republic is officially disbanded. 
Tarsus Valorum is elected the first Supreme Chancellor of the Republic's new era. The Jedi Temple on Elum is formed. 965 BBY. The Dai Bendu Monastery is built on Kijimi. 896 BBY. Yoda is born. And this one we actually are allowed to call Baby Yoda. 867 BBY. Naboo officially joins the Galactic Republic. 832 BBY. General Jafan ends Naboo's long-standing time of suffering and restores peace to the planet. Theed is founded, and the Theed Royal Palace is constructed in the same year under the direction of King Jafan. Uniter and ruler of all the Naboo, Jafan becomes the first ruler of the Great Time of Peace. 797 BBY. Yoda begins to train to become a Jedi. 501 BBY. The armor that would one day belong to Sabine Wren is forged. 350 BBY. The Trade Federation is founded by the Namoidians. 257 BBY. The Jedi Order's T-1 shuttle sees action in the Iram Irono Crisis. Philithar Jedi Master Simix is killed in a ship crash, leaving his Padawan Komak Vitus conflicted over the Jedi ways of non-attachment. Vitus nevertheless resolved the crisis alongside Master Lareth Sovral and her Padawan, the Umbran Orla Jereni. 232 BBY the Coruscant-based Republic Chancellor, Lena So, envisions a galaxy of great works that range from infrastructure to culture in an effort to expand the Republic's reaches. Pan the Republic reaches, better connect the peoples of the galaxy, and bring inspiration and peace for all citizens. Efforts are made to negotiate a new peace treaty between the Quarren and Mon Calamari, as well as to mass-produce Bacta, a miracle substance primarily made of a barley originally cultivated from Thyphera that was intended to replace Juven, in the hopes of revolutionizing medicine. As part of Chancellor So's pledge to maintain the Republic's hold on the hard-to-navigate Outer Rim, outreach programs are established in the Rim. In the galactic frontier, where order and justice is maintained by the Knights of the Jedi Order, who at independently operated outposts such as the Jedi Temple Outpost on Karagon Viner work closely with the Republic without direct assistance from the Coruscant Jedi Temple, the Starlight Beacon Space Station is constructed as part of the series of outreach programs. Launched in 232 BBY, it features a large Jedi Temple designed by Palo Hidala and is placed in the center of Dark Zones and the Rim to guide travelers and boost the region's transmission times, intended to be the first beacon of a new galactic communications relay network. A conclave between the Jedi Order and the Republic involving Jedi Master Avar Chris and Admiral Pavel Kronara of the Republic Defense Coalition is held at the Starlight Beacon. The strain from the Jedi mission to Zetuine leads to Des Raiden to request a transfer to the Starlight Beacon. With the Jedi and the Republic's Starlight program infringing on his territory, and coupled with his family's past conflicts against the Jedi, Markeon Roe instigates the Great Hyperspace Disaster. In Hyperspace, the Legacy Run, a Canif Yards Class A modular freight transport of the Bind Guild, encounters a Nihil ship and is destroyed. Starships across the galaxy are abruptly knocked out of hyperspace by missiles of debris from the Legacy Run, which also threaten to destroy space stations, moons, as well as planets. The Republic turns to the Jedi for help in saving lives and ending the crisis, and Jedi activity sees a significant increase. Due to being delayed at the Starlight Beacon, Master Avar Chris and Admiral Pebble Cronara become the first to respond to the disaster in the nearby Hetzel system, coordinating efforts to save citizens from aboard the Third Horizon. Vernesta Rowe, having been the Padawan of Stellan Gios, is made a Jedi Knight at the age of 16, becoming one of the youngest Knights of the Jedi Order in a generation. Vernestra Rowe is stranded on a jungle moon with several other individuals, including Avon Staros of the Staros Clan. When their transport ship, the Steady Wing, is sabotaged by the Nihil, the Jedi Wayseeker Orla Jereni, Jedi Knight Des Raiden, Jedi Padawan Raith Silas, and Jedi Master Komak Vitus, as well as the cargo ship vessel's captain, Captain Leox Gassi, co-pilot Afi Hollow, and the navigator Geode are ripped out of hyperspace as a result of the Great Disaster. They take refuge in a seemingly abandoned Amaxine space station. Aboard the Amaxine station, the Jedi passengers of the vessel are disturbed by dark visions. Believing that a set of four binding statues contained the dark side influence, the Jedi take away the Force artifact for purification in the Sith Shrine located beneath the Coruscant Jedi Temple. However, they're proven wrong and realize that the statues had contained something else. A series of emergencies come to threaten star systems across the galaxy. 
Following the first emergence in the Abdalis system, the Nihil attack and evacuation convoy belonging to Gorello Technologies. The Nihil attack Trimen 4 as the Trimen 4 disaster occurs. Zeen Mrala joins Lula Talisola's group of Jedi Padawans in defending Bralanok City from hyperspace debris and raiders led by the Eye of the Nihil, Marky Unro. The Santeca clan, having risen from a family of hyperspace prospectors in the outer reaches of the galaxy to a dynasty privy to leading technology that allows Chancellor So's Republic to continue expanding safely to new areas about a century ago, operates alongside the galactic government as it responds to the Great Disaster. While restoring the statues aboard the Amaxian Station, the Jedi are attacked by the Nihil. To defend themselves against overwhelming forces, the Jedi are forced to destroy the statues to unleash what it contained. A group of Drengir, who were put into stasis by the Sith through the Binding Statues long ago, are thus awakened from their slumber. While the vessel's crew escapes amidst the chaos, several Drengir are released into open space in the process. The tragic poet, Omar Barenko, is reputed by residing at the Verakino Artist's Retreat on Naboo. Centuries before the year 22 BBY, the controversial Barenko was kidnapped from a scenic balcony overlooking the lakes after penning the disturbing and visionary epic poem titled Defense of Naboo in the Room of Morning Mists. The Jedi High Council convenes to discuss the threat of the Nihil, and after a contested debate between Grandmaster Laru and Jedi Masters such as Yariel Poof, Rana Kant, Opo Rancisis, Keaton Murag, Adelie Caro, and the stand-in of Grandmaster Yoda, who was on sabbatical from Council Affairs, Efru Shin, approves a joint effort between the Jedi and the Republic in a mission against the Nihil as proposed by Counselor So. The Nihil conduct a raid on Elfrona, capturing Jedi Master Loden Greatstorm and Farmer Odo Blythe. Marky and Roe executes the farmer, intending to keep Greatstorm for future plans. The Battle of Kerr occurs. Marky and Roe sends Kassav's Tempest to death in the Core Nebula, intending to trick the Jedi and the Republic that they had destroyed the Nihil. The Trandoshan Jedi Master Skir loses his left arm and blames himself for the death of Master Jorah Mali. The medical substance Kolto is in common use at this point. Jedi Grandmasters Patre Vetter and Yoda join other Jedi and Republic personnel, amongst them Chancellor Lena So, the newly minted Jedi Knight Keeve Trennis, and the newly appointed Marshal of the Starlight Beacon Avar Chris aboard the latter station in its dedication ceremony for Light and Life. Skier hides a devastating secret that was tearing him apart, drawing a private emotional outburst from him soon after Starlight's dedication. Surik, which formed a part of a phrase used by the Jedi Skier, existed by this point. By this point, the Hut clan is sanctioned from trading openly in Republic space. The Drengir abduct children on Sedri Minor. The Nihil attack a Hut clan ship in the recently Republic-aligned Kazlan system, prompting the Jedi Skier, Keef Trennis, and the Kotabi Bond twins Tarek and Sarah to investigate the resulting wreckage. Tracing the Hut craft's origin to the Sedri system, Skier and Sarah take a T-1 shuttle to Sedri Minor. Avar Chris and Vernestra Rowe take the Ataraxia to join Trennis aboard the Hut craft. On Sedri Minor, Sarah is captured by the Drengir, and Chris, Tarek, and Trennis, traveling aboard the Ataraxia, join Skier on the moon. Sarit yields to the powerful shadow cast by Drengir and joins their collective mind. Sharing the same mind with Sarit, Tarek also succumbs to the Drengir's influence and becomes crazed. While Chris and Trennis confront the Drengir at their underground dwelling, Skier despairs that he couldn't help Tarek, who is uncontrollable and inconsolable. While Avar, Chris, and Trennis fear Sarit as well as a local boy from the Drengir, they're surrounded by more, who are accompanied by Skier. Skier had had his mind joined with the Drengir's collective consciousness and had grown a botanical, plant-like left arm. Skier captures Chris's crew, and the secret history of the Drengir is revealed. The Jedi and the Republic Starlight Beacon is threatened by an age-old enemy. The Drengir, hungry for Jedi, arrive at a serene and remote Jedi outpost that the Jedi Lily Toraasi lived in. As a consequence of Menir's bitterness and unwillingness to accept any change, the Drengir plague the village Skrull on the planet Batu. 200 BBY Chewbacca is born 102 BBY Count Dooku is born on Sereno and is brought into the Jedi the same year. Master Sifo Dyas is also born this year. 80 BBY Qui-Gon Jinn is born on Coruscant. 68 BBY Qui-Gon is apprenticed to Master Dooku. 65 BBY The Feed Power Generator You remember that weird place in the palace where they fought Darth Maul? Yeah, that place. It's built by Outer Rim Construction and Assembly as a joint venture with Damask Holdings. 
For those of us who don't know, the CEO of Damask Holdings is Higo Damask II. This man is a moon like those who ran the banking clan, but you may know Higo Damask II better by the name of Darth Plagueis the Wise. It wasn't too far from this point in time that Plagueis and Palpatine were training and attempting to discover the secret to immortality and how to manipulate the midichlorians to create life. They did many tests and actually succeeded. Sidious and Plagueis managed to get many creatures pregnant using only the midichlorians, and among those who felt the effects of this grand experiment was a slave woman on Tatooine named Shmi Skywalker. 58 BBY During the Mandalorian Civil War, Jaster Muriel leads the true Mandalorians against Tor Vizsla's Death Watch in battle on Concord Dawn. Jaster's men are beaten back and scatter as Jaster is taken in by a family known as the Fets. However, Death Watch catches up fast and Jaster fails to save the Fets, with only their son Jango escaping. The battle is won by the true Mandalorians, however, with the help of Jango, who is named an honorary Mandalorian for his valor. Years later, Django is assigned to be the leader of his own squad in battle, along with Montrose, who leads Vertigo Squad, and Jaster, who leads Head Hunter Squad. As the battle intensifies, however, Montrose disobeys orders and presses attack instead of retreating. This forced Jaster to bail out Vertigo Squad, but Jaster is betrayed and killed. Montrose claims Django is dead in an attempt to take the title of Mandalore, but Django shows up carrying the body of Jaster and claims the title instead. Django then leads the true Mandalorians to Galadron, where Death Watch is being harbored by the Governor. Django manages to drive them out, but the Jedi are called in by the Governor. They proceed to kill the true Mandalorians with only Django remaining. The Governor sells Django into slavery, but Django escapes and settles scores. He manages to track down Death Watch and Tor Vizsla, where he kills them all by himself and a family of dire cats. 45 BBY. Qui-Gon chooses Obi-Wan as his apprentice. 41 BBY. After nine months post Sidious and Plague's experiment to create life through the Force, Anakin Skywalker is born to a very confused Shmi Skywalker. Also, Grogu is born this year, too. This is the Baby Yoda that we're not allowed to call Baby Yoda. 40 BBY Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan are sent to protect Satine Kryze during the Mandalorian Civil War. It's here that Obi-Wan definitely doesn't fall in love with Satine and definitely doesn't become the father of Corky Kryze. Nah. Definitely not the father, couldn't be him. 36 BBY, Ashoka Tano is born. 33 BBY, Caleb Dune, aka Kanan Jarrus, is born. 32 BBY, the Geonosians begin manufacturing droids under orders of the Trade Federation who were themselves under the influence of Darth Sidious. Sidious also oversaw the creation of the clone troopers on Kamino. A taxation on trade routes is pushed through the Senate by then-Chancellor Valorum, which would then serve as the catalyst that begins the Clone Wars. In protest, the Trade Federation sets up a blockade over Naboo, but this is a ploy and a cover for a secret invasion of the planet. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan are sent to force a settlement, but are ambushed and escape to Naboo. While there, they take the Gungan Jar Jar Binks into their party and escape Naboo with Queen Padme Amidala. However, their ship is damaged on the way back to Coruscant and are required to stop for repairs on the planet of Tatooine, where they encounter Anakin Skywalker. After some crafty Qui-Gon big brain moments, they manage to free Anakin from slavery and get the parts they need. They escape to Coruscant, where after being asked to defer an investigation, as well as some prodding from Senator Sheev Palpatine, Queen Amidala calls for a vote of no confidence in Chancellor Valorum. Valorum is removed from office, and Senator Palpatine is nominated and confirmed to replace him. That night, Palpatine invites his mentor, Higo Damask II, to a night on the town where he waits for the old Sith Lord to grow drowsy from his drink and proceeds to murder him in his sleep, taking the mantle of Dark Lord of the Sith. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan would then face Darth Maul. Maul kills Qui-Gon, but Obi-Wan defeats Maul by bisecting the Sith Lord. Obi-Wan vows to train Anakin Skywalker, and peace returns to Naboo. By this time, Dooku is turned to the dark side and is given the title Darth Tyrannus by his master, Darth Sidious. 28 BBY Padme Amidala steps down following two two-year terms as Queen of Naboo. Rey Lata defeats Jamila in her campaign to succeed Amidala, though Jamila later resigns for four years before being succeeded by Neutni during the Clone Wars. 24 BBY The Separatist Crisis begins as thousands of star systems leave the Republic to join the Confederacy, breaking the Republic in two. The Separatist Senate forms. 23 BBY The Senate debates whether an army should be raised and begins discussion on the Military Creation Act. 22 BBY on her way to an important vote, now Senator Padme Amidala returns to Coruscant only for her ship to be destroyed by an assassin, killing her body double. Later, the mysterious assassin attempts to kill her once more while she sleeps, but is thwarted by Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi and his student Padawan Anakin Skywalker. 
They hunt down the changeling assassin, Zam Wessel, but Zam is also killed by another assassin using a Kamino saber dart. The Council sends Anakin to guard Padme back on Naboo. Obi-Wan investigates the star system of Kamino and there finds a clone army which he reports back to the Jedi Council. He then discovers Jango Fett who attempts to escape, but Obi-Wan is in hot pursuit and follows him all the way to Geonosis where Obi-Wan is captured. After having a nightmare about his mother, Anakin takes Padme to Tatooine where they search for his mother only to find her dead. Anakin slaughters the Tusken Raiders who were responsible, an action that reverberates through the Force and is felt by many Jedi, including Yoda. After this, they receive a transmission from Obi-Wan, which they patch through to the Council. Obi-Wan tells them of the droid factory and the plans to attack the Republic. The Republic votes to create the army, and Yoda goes to Kamino to inspect the clones. After being captured, Anakin and Padme escape with Obi-Wan and the help of the newly formed Grand Army of the Republic. Jango Fett is killed, leaving his armor to his clone son, Boba Fett. They chase Dooku back to his secret base and duel him, but both Anakin and Obi-Wan are wounded and are only saved when Yoda shows up and drives Dooku away. Anakin and Padme secretly get married. 22 BBY to 19 BBY The Clone Wars take place and culminate with the capture of Chancellor Palpatine. Obi-Wan and Anakin are dispatched to save him and manage to kill Count Dooku, but fail to destroy General Grievous. Then they crash land on Coruscant. Anakin then learns that Padme is pregnant and is plagued with the nightmares of her death. Suspicions rise that the dark side surrounds the Chancellor, and so they let Anakin onto the Council only to act as a double agent against Palpatine, which Anakin finds distasteful and discloses to Palpatine. However, Palpatine reveals himself as Darth Sidious to Anakin and attempts to persuade him to join the dark side. Anakin tells Mace Windu. Meanwhile, Obi-Wan is sent to Utapau along with the 212th Attack Battalion to deal with General Grievous. Obi-Wan manages to kill the general. Mace Windu and various other Jedi confront the Senate, I mean Palpatine, which results in a battle in which all of the Jedi Masters brought by Mace, including my boy Kit Fisto, are killed. Oh, why did it have to be Kit Fisto? F's in the chats for Kit Fisto. Windu defeats Palpatine soundly in battle, but Anakin interrupts and Palpatine manages to kill the Jedi Master. Consumed with guilt and fear, Anakin swears himself to Palpatine and is renamed Darth Vader by the Sith Lord. Order 66 is then called, and Anakin marches into the temple to kill the Jedi. Reva is among the younglings Anakin attempts to kill, but she manages to survive and is turned into an Inquisitor who seeks vengeance against Vader. Obi-Wan is attacked by Commander Cody, and Ashoka is attacked by Commander Rex. Yes, he was named Commander before the series ended. Ashoka saves Rex, and the two flee together into hiding. Obi-Wan survives the attack and makes his way back to Coruscant, where he discovers the truth. Obi-Wan and Yoda split up to face Darth Vader and Darth Sidious, respectively. Yoda fails to kill Sidious and departs for Dagobah for exile. Obi-Wan defeats and maims Vader, but fails to kill him. Padme gives birth to twins, but dies shortly after. The twins are split up. Bail Organa takes Leia, and Obi-Wan sends Luke to live with the Lars family on Tatooine. The Imperial Era 14 BBY the events of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order take place. Darth Sidious and Darth Vader undertake a mission to Ryloth. The Free Ryloth Movement, led by Cham Syndulla, attempts to assassinate the two Sith Lords. The deaths of Belkor Dre and Isval also occur. 10 BBY The events of Solo A Star Wars Story take place, including his legendary Kessel Run. 9 BBY the events of Kenobi occur. Obi-Wan is sent to rescue Leia Organa, and once he does, he must safeguard Luke from Reva, though he's too late. However, Owen and Beru Lars manage to protect Luke from her for a while. Before she can kill Luke, however, she has a change of heart and releases her hatred of Vader to return to the light side. 5 BBY The events of Star Wars Rebels occur. 4 BBY Kanan Jarrus is captured by the Empire, and Ezra Bridger's message echoes out from an Imperial relay station. With the rescue of Kanan, the fire across the galaxy is set, Lothal is seized by the Empire. 3 BBY Kanan, Ezra, and Ashoka travel to Malachor where they discover Maul and are chased down by the Inquisitors and Vader himself. Ezra escapes with the Holocron. 1 BBY Phoenix Squadron leads an assault on the Imperial Presence on Lothal. Kanan Jarrus is killed saving his team. Sometime around this year, the Night of a Thousand Tears takes place on Mandalore, in which the Empire massacres the Mandalorian people in response to the Bo-Katan cries taking over leadership of Mandalore after the demise of Tiber Saxon. The Mandalorian people are nearly wiped out. Zero BBY. Lothal is freezed when Ezra sacrifices himself to take Thrawn out with a pot of Pergil, a group of brave rebels from Scarif, and steal the plans to the Death Star in which Galen Erso had put a secret weakness. They transmitted the plans to the Tantive Four, which escaped the battle. Darth Vader launched off in hot pursuit and disabled the ship. 
Leia then sent the plans down to the surface of Tatooine inside of an astromech droid, which would later be purchased by the Lars family. Luke removes the restraining bolt, and the droid escapes. Luke goes out to find it, and while he's gone, the Lars farm is raided by Imperials, and Owen and Beru are killed. Alderaan is destroyed by the Death Star. Luke decides to go with Obi-Wan to deliver the droid, R2-D2, to Alderaan. But, you know, the planet is destroyed, and they're captured by the Death Star. They escape with Leia, but Obi-Wan dies fighting Vader. They head to Yavin 4, where they deliver the plans to the Rebellion. It's then that the Death Star pops out of hyperspace. However, the Rebellion scrambles fighters armed with proton torpedoes that will be able to get into the exhaust vent and set off a chain reaction which will blow the station. And thanks to Luke and the ghost of old Ben Kenobi, the whole thing goes down and then, uh, you know, everyone but Chewbacca gets a medal, we all know this. It, he gets one later, they give him one later for some reason. In, uh, Rise of Skywalker, I think. 3 ABY the Battle of Hoth occurs. Vader leads the charge, but the rebels escape. Luke, having had a vision of Ben, goes to train with Yoda, while Han, Leia, and Chewbacca end up in Cloud City to be used as bait for Luke. Han is frozen and delivered to Jabba the Hutt by Boba Fett. Luke appears to rescue Leia and Han, but is instead forced to face Vader, who cuts off his hand and reveals that he is his father. Luke would rather die than join Vader, but the Force saves him and he's rescued by Leia and Chewbacca. Luke then receives a new hand from the rebels. 4 ABY. Leia and Chewbacca go to rescue Han, but are captured by Jabba. Luke goes to flex on Jabba, but nobody outpizzas the hut, so he ends up captured too. They get taken to the Sarlacc to be fed, but they escape from Jabba's grasp and kill Jabba, and also set Boba Fett up for his own series. They manage to get off Tatooine scot-free. Luke decides to go back to finish his training with Yoda, but by the time he gets there, Yoda dies of old age. Obi-Wan divulges that Leia is Luke's sister about one movie too late to stop him from kissing her twice, and Luke decides that he must face Vader. He returns to the Rebels, and they discuss the second Death Star and their plan to destroy it. They're sent to Endor, where Luke surrenders to Vader, while Leia, Han, and Chewbacca go to destroy the shield generator. Luke faces Vader and Emperor Palpatine, where he defeats Vader soundly and returns him to the light side. Vader, now Anakin Skywalker once more, kills Palpatine before dying himself. Luke escapes the Death Star, Han, Chewie, and Leia destroy the shield generator, and Lando Calrissian leads them inside the Death Star to destroy it and succeed. The Empire begins to fall. Fall of the Empire, 4 ABY to 5 ABY. Sentinel droids are sent out to deliver word of the Emperor's final directive, Operation Cinder. The Empire begins to launch counterattacks that bring them and their forces to Jakku to force a final battle with the Rebels, which culminates in the Empire's complete destruction. Era of the New Republic. 5 ABY. Han Solo and Leia Organa give birth to a child that they name Ben Solo. Luke Skywalker begins to search for lost lore of the Jedi to rebuild the Order. Sabine Wren and Ashoka Tano search for Ezra Bridger. 8 ABY. Poe Dameron learns to fly starships from his mother. 9 ABY. The Mandalorian comes into contact with a target named Grogu of the same race as Yoda. He's requisitioned to deliver him to the Empire's remnants. He does so, but he has a change of heart. Din Djarin then returns for his target and saves him, betraying the Bounty Hunter's guild. He escapes with the help of his Mandalorian brothers and sisters, but as he escapes, they're killed. Mando meets Ashoka in hopes of returning Grogu to his kind. Din Djarin takes the child to a powerful spot in the Force where a Jedi might sense him, but he's captured by Moff Gideon. With the help of Boba Fett, Din Djarin seeks Grogu and attacks Moff Gideon with Bo-Katan Kryze's help, who wishes to reclaim the Darksaber from Gideon. Din Djarin beats Gideon and claims the Darksaber for himself and frees Grogu. It's then that a Jedi finds them and comes to save Grogu. That Jedi is Luke Skywalker. Yeah, I was surprised too, but I figured it out long before they showed his face. Boba Fett then returns to Tatooine and kills Bib Fortuna, claiming the throne of Jabba the Hutt. He then ends up in a turf war with the Pikes and is double-crossed by the other rival crime syndicates. In the end, he's victorious and kills, I say that in quotation marks because nobody just kills him, Cad Bane in the process. He then eliminates the Pike leadership in Mos Espa along with the rival syndicate leaders. Meanwhile, Luke trains Grogu but realizes that his attachment to Din Djarin is strong and decides to offer the child the choice. The path of the Jedi or to be returned to his friend. Grogu chooses Din Djarin and Luke respects his decision. Jaren works some odd jobs here and there, but he learns that he doesn't know Jack about wielding the Darksaber. This is especially true when he nearly cuts his own leg off with it. However, one of the survivors who helped him escape with Grogu originally, Paz Vizsla, challenges him for the Darksaber, but Din Djarin is victorious. However, it's revealed that he had removed his helmet, and by code of the Children of the Watch, he's no longer Mandalorian and must cleanse himself on Mandalore, which is still barren from the attack launched against it by the Empire in 1 BBY. 15 ABY 
Rey Skywalker. Yes, I know, I know, we're observing her claim to be a Skywalker because Luke and Leia essentially told her to take the name. Just, everyone calm down. Rey is born. Luke also rebuilds the Jedi Order in this year. Ben Solo also begins to train with Luke as well. 28 ABY. Luke senses darkness in Ben Solo and begins to fear. He nearly kills Ben, but thinks better of it. His lapse in judgment, though, was the push that Ben needed, and Ben turns to the dark side and destroys Luke's Jedi Order, taking the name Kylo Ren upon himself and begins to train in hopes of becoming more like his grandfather, Darth Vader. 34 ABY. The events of Star Wars Resistance and The Force Awakens take place. Rey travels with Solo and Chewbacca to the Resistance base to deliver the map to Luke Skywalker, but is captured before she can do so. She escapes before Ren can make her tell him where Luke is, and awakens to the Force when she sees Finn nearly killed. Han Solo is killed by Ren. She scars Kylo Ren and escapes Starkiller base on Illum before the planet explodes. She then seeks out Luke to train with him. Later that year, as Finn wakes up, Supreme Leader Snoke is hot on the tail of the Resistance. Finn and Rose Tico are sent to Cantonica to find the Master Codebreaker who can help them get into Snoke's flagship. Rey allows herself to be captured and brought before Snoke in hopes that Ben Solo can be saved, but she underestimates him and watches him kill Snoke and claim the role of Supreme Leader of the First Order himself. Luke confronts Kylo Ren and shows how easy he could beat him, but doesn't because he's not really there. Luke dies on Octo. The Resistance escapes destruction. 35 ABY. Somehow Palpatine returns and issues his declaration to the galaxy and the Resistance set out to defeat this new threat. Rey, Poe, and Finn head to Pasana, where they find a Sith dagger that tells them where the Sith Wayfinder is. C-3PO can't read it, so they take him to Kijimi to have his programming changed, which results in the loss of his memory until R2-D2 can have that memory returned to him. They learn that the Wayfinder is in the Endor system, and there they find the remains of the Death Star's throne room. There, Rey has a vision of herself on the throne and is confronted by Kylo Ren. Leia dies while they battle, and this causes Ben Solo's whole set of ideas to change, and Rey spares him. The Battle of Exegol would then happen, and Rey and the reformed Ben would face off against Palpatine and kill him. However, Rey is about to die, and Ben transfers his life essence over to her, saving her at the cost of his own life. The galaxy then rises up against the First Order, pushing them back. Rey officially takes the name of Skywalker, buries Luke and Leia's lightsabers in front of the Lars family home, and creates her own lightsaber. The galaxy then heads into a new era, as of yet unknown. And that is the complete timeline of Star Wars canon. Of course, there are a few more things that have happened that we neglected, a lot of smaller events, but if we listed them here and there, we'd probably be here for like 12 hours. So a special thanks goes out to Wikipedia, the Star Wars fandom. Their timeline helped us out a bunch, so if you want to see more of the timeline that I failed to add, be sure to check it out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out, and may the Force be with you always.